My name is David, and this is Ianda Sebro Paracord Design. In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make the tug of war paracord bracelet. What you'll need for this is a total of eight feet of paracord split up into two four foot pieces. All right, so let's get into the tutorial. First, what you'll need to do is bring all your paracord through. I'll start from the bottom the bottom end. And what you want to do is put about three inches off to the side. Once you do that, what you'll need to do is create a cow's hitch. On the left hand side. First things first, you want to start off by creating a cow hitch. on the left hand side. Once you get that first cow's hitch done, make sure the bulk of your slack, about three inches, is good. It doesn't matter how much you use to uh, start off with, as long as you have uh, enough on the left-hand side. Then you want to take and measure up about halfway on the bracelet and then repeat the process for a second cow's hitch or what I'm going to do in this tutorial is just uh, not in loop off to one side but you want to make sure you have like at least halfway to the other side on the weave as you see here This is the first end right here. And that's how you start it off. Now we're going to work on the other side. We're going to repeat the process by turning the uh, design around and doing the same thing for this end. Like I said, what you want to do is make a cow hitch to the left. That few inches you put over on the left is going to be for the end, for the last part of this design. What you want to do now is take this cord and come up from underneath into the other side. And you want to tighten it up as much as possible. As we can see here, there's too much on this up here. So I'm going to take a little slack out and shorten the other end. 
Once you do that, you want to tighten it all back up again. And then bring the other end back through this buckle. And you want to tighten this end up as much as possible so that there's no slack on it. Alright, you want to try and grab with this finger from underneath, hold it tight. And then for the next step, what you want to do is take both ends from their perspective side through that same hole, through the same part on the weave. Once you get like that, you do the same thing for the other side. Then once you do that, you want to come over and go through the third cord on this, over right here and here. That'll start this off. You wanna repeat the same process for the other side. After that, you take this cord and you wanna wrap it back over all three, coming up to the right side of the first one and two strands like this and tighten it up as much as possible so that'll start the first first part of this design then after that what you want to do is come down we'll just name this for now one two and three on the cords you come down between two and three and then you repeat the process over again. Going over and coming up in that same one in between two and three. You repeat this process for the entire weave. Tightening up as you go along. And that's all that it takes. And just keep repeating the process until you finish. I'll continue with this design all the way to the end. Stretch this out a little bit. <coughs> so it's good to tighten up the uh, the jig, with whatever you're using. That way, it's all nice and taut. making sure that you go all the way through with this oh, as nice and tight as possible.
what you want to do at the last part if you can is to try and push in between the this area right here between one and two the strands one and two taking this left cord down through here and back up through between two and three And then with the other cord, you want to try and take it down as well through here to finish it off. Since you already know what the pattern is, I'll end the video here. And thank you again. Please leave your comments below. And also leave a suggestion for what I do, should do next. Thank you, and have a wonderful day.